what you're about to hear is part of the Podgods network. If you have a problem with anything you hear, please write it in an email and go fuck yourself. Enjoy the show. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Salty Language presents The Enthusiast. Hey, enthusiast! This is uh, episode what ten now of the of the enthusiast. Of the enthusiast, yeah, that's why. Yes, yeah. double up. Uh, I'm Brian, as always. Joining me is Tony, and we are joined today. Uh, oh my, Gina God. Williams from CraftBeerHound.com. Uh, I just totally, yes. wow. <laughs> I just totally bought it right there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Nose dive. Way I have it dive. on a piece of paper right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I'm How sorry, doing, I didn't. <laughs> That's all right. I'm great. Thanks for having me Jeez. on for a little chat. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I I wanted to get you on because I was Christmas shopping for my brother in law because he loves beer like everyone I know. Right. And your website's awesome. <laughs> oh, it is. Well, thanks yeah. so much. Yeah, I was I was actually wondering how you guys found us. So that's yeah. cool. <clears throat> yeah, it's a very cool site. I was just uh, wondering why. You know, not to sound like a you know. Uh, Majuous, whatever. But when I saw it, it was ran by two women and beer, and you know, it's it right. threw me off a little. So I just had to, yeah, I had to talk to you. I mean, how did yeah. you get into the craft beer world? Well, craft beer kind of goes a long ways back for me personally. Um, I just, uh, I it's kind of all I've ever drank. I, you know, oh, bravo. <laughs> yeah, I, I nice. somehow managed to skip the the crap beer phase of life, um, <laughs> and I mean, you know. Craft beer was a lot smaller back then, but still your, your Newcastles and your, you know, Sierra Nevadas and those kinds of things is kind of, is, I just liked beer with flavor from the very beginning. So, nice. uh, so it went on from there and, um, I've been enjoying craft beer for such a long time and kind of got to looking around and, uh, there's, there wasn't anything on the market for beer lovers. Not like, you know, if you have, if you love wine, you've got, great pictures and vineyard things for your house and mm. you know not to mention all the glassware and everything that goes along with that and so i kind of felt like that was missing um from the beer world yeah you know and, i thought it was interesting like you were saying about wine there is that you know i know a lot of people who collect like wine corks you know right. and they put them in things and they're always looking for you know vases or jars or whatever and i saw you know like you guys have on your website, like frames and stuff that you can collect your beer caps in, which I also know various people who do. So, that, you know, it's, it, you're right. And that's kind of stuff you wasn't out there before. So that was definitely, um, you know, definitely something you provide that I didn't, hadn't seen before, but it seems like such a, a no brainer when it comes to that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of the reaction that we get is like, how has no one else thought of this? Right. You know, like, um, and it really came from, that's my husband's fault actually, because he was the beer cap collector. And so we had like jars and closets and <laughs> right. you know, everybody's got this big plan, right? We're going to make a coffee table or oh, a yeah. backsplash for the kitchen with all these beer caps. And he only collects one from, you know, they each one is sure. unique. He tries not to have any duplicates. And, uh, and I was like, I just can't handle having these just hanging out in the closet doing nothing. We've got to do something with these. And so that's uh, kind of where the beer cap collector came from was just a way to at least display them while you're figuring out what the heck you're going to do with them. If you ever get around to that big <laughs> crazy project that you hope you do. Right. <laughs> I think it's a pretty cool way to display them. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. just going to say, and even if you don't, they look pretty cool. At least, at least like you said, they're not just, you know, sitting in the closet and coffee yeah, cans or a something. Jar yeah. Under some yeah. socks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely. So, so that's kind of um, was the beginnings of Craft Beer Hound, and and so um, I guess we didn't really introduce it. So, craftbeerhound.com dot com is uh, is our website. My partner and I, Amy, um, out of Boulder, Colorado, uh, we have a website that is geared for gifts for beer lovers. Like, so we don't sell any beer, which is kind of confusing for people since we're <laughs> right. most people, if they're in the craft beer scene, that's what they do. Right. So. Yeah. Because, uh, I actually, I was looking when I was first looking at your site, I was looking around to see if, if you guys, you know, did like a small brewery or something like that along with it, because, you know, most of the, like the microbrews or the craft brewers have, 
you know, merchandise for their, their product or whatever. So I thought yeah. at first that's what I thought you guys were, and then Tony straightened me out on that. Yeah. <laughs> Learned a thing or two. Yeah. Any, any thoughts to maybe brewing your own beer in that aspect, well, like under the craft beer label or craft beer own label? That's actually really interesting because we were just uh, having a conversation about that yesterday, about oh. would we ever want to do some kind of a small brew pub situation. Right. Um, and certainly we would have to bring in some sort of brewer because although I do homebrew – uh, that is not where my creativity <laughs> is, does its best job. Fair enough, right. <laughs> now, have you moved past people. Mr. Beer? Because I, I got yes. a Mr. Beer and I tried it and I made vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> so I we haven't also tried it started again. with with a Mr. Beer and um, it was uh, subpar. <laughs> yes. Tony, <laughs> to, to, I, yes. I got to say, I wish you would have let me have some of that because I would have rated it on, on Untapped for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I would yeah. appreciate it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, we do. We have moved past that. We have a little, you know, normal setup. Um, if you wanted to check out some of the stuff that we did, we we put it on Untapped. Um, it's under Beagle Hill Brewing, Beagle Hill Brewery, okay. on Untapped. Oh, There's nice. I don't know nine or ten brews on there, but it's you know nice. something fun to do. So. It seems like that's the next logical step. If you love craft beer, it's like, why not make it? Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, think I haven't you got the equipment it. yet, besides yeah. my little plastic Mister Beer. Right. You can do a lot better than that, and it's, it's not going much away, harder. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it's out. <laughs> <laughs> well, where where do you where do you find all the stuff you sell on your website? Or I mean, I can't imagine you're out in the garage hammering. Cool key, you know, skeleton key bullet bottle openers together. Right, and- right. Uh, the bottle openers are generally we just kind of keep our eyes open and are looking around all different places uh, for just cool openers and stuff like that. Um, some of the like the credit card bottle openers that we have, which are pretty sweet because they fit right in your wallet. Yeah, yeah those are. Strong. Um, those yeah. have our designs on them. But again, okay. I don't design. I, I, actually, interesting story. Um, for the first year, I did etch those by hand. No but shit. now we outsource that. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> so, yeah, we etched those by hand. And uh, I also etched some glassware by hand for the first year. And we did and actually are still right now because we had a gap in our supply chain uh, making the cap collectors by hand. Oh, wow. So okay. it, it is still very hands-on for the wow. most part. Nice. Well, that makes all sense, of our T-shirts though, are designed by us. And we actually did um, – get an outside designer to work with us on a few of them okay. that were a little more intricate. Um, but yeah. we do a lot on our own. It's It's been a serious bootstrap operation, getting it up and going with very little money. So um, right. so it's, it, it's kind of fun, though, you know, to do a lot of stuff by hand and, um, and sort of be able to only make two or three and throw it up there and see, okay, is this going to work or not? You know, that's right. When, right. when you don't have the – or when you don't want to put the investment forward to – you know, buy a thousand of them or even 50 of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, <laughs> a good way to do it. Yeah, we understand. You know, we keep talking about uh, doing T-shirts and stuff at different times. And I've gone to school for graphic design and stuff. So it isn't that I can't design the stuff, but it's still, you know, uh, finding affordable T-shirts. So we don't have to sink a thousand or two thousand dollars into stock so that we're just, you know, selling one T-shirt and right. sitting on the rest. Yeah. yeah, I don't need a garage full of cotton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and T-shirts are a bummer, too, because you've got socks size and color options yeah. right so it it yeah. explodes really quickly yeah if you if you allow, allow it to right yeah, i think we just have to limit it yeah <laughs> very yeah. simple just five shirts yeah. and yeah. five shirts <laughs> and, and i just draw on the shirts that's all we're gonna do <laughs> get your fat mark yeah. sharpie out and go to yeah. town i've already got all the markers for it so it's just a matter of time yeah it's a fine idea. That's going to be the first. The protos are all going to be hand drawn. You know? Just number them on the bottom. Right. Yeah. 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 Then then there'll be collector's yeah. items. You know, oddly enough, there I, I've actually seen um, like comic book artists that are doing that at conventions now. Like they're really? buying, buying shirts and drawing on them, and they treat them somehow. You know, so they don't. You know, you can't you can't wash them in a machine or whatever. But you can get these huge pieces of artwork from these guys and. That's pretty cool. It's, wow, they're that really is pretty cool. cool. Yeah, I, you know they're usually they usually get about a, you know a hundred bucks roughly for the shirt because of the art on it and stuff. But it's I've seen some really neat designs done that way. Oh, huh, hmm. that's awesome. Yeah, uh, it's funny you mentioned comic books. We uh, we just signed up today to do the it's a Heroes Brew Fest. So I guess it's like 
it's during Comic Con here in San Diego. Oh, nice. And oh. um so it's all costumed out people and craft beer, kind of the convergence of two yeah. geek world of worlds of geek. It's basically like our podcast. Idea. Yeah, it's our podcast, but it's a convention. Dang it. Right. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's all we talk about. No, yeah, uh, it's, it's true. Comics yeah. and beer, that's pretty much our staples. We talk a lot about them, yeah. Wow. wow. That's really cool. I didn't know that. That's that's interesting. Huh. Yeah, so it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's this summer. Uh, I think it, it's in like July. Oh, okay. Yeah, right that's yeah. I was gonna say I think that's when Comic Con is. So in July. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Um, yeah, uh, for for those who aren't familiar with your website, like you guys sell apparel, you have collectors, you have keychains, um, and I, I I went through the t-shirts and there's like three or four t-shirts that I want. I want one of the hats with the uh, bomb with the hop thing on it. Yeah, the hot bomb uh, hats are pretty sweet. That design, like as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, I love that design so much. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's awesome. Yeah, so I'll probably be ordering one of those before long. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there's a ton of cool keychains and stuff on the website. You know, for for you know anyone listening who hasn't been on the website, there's all yep. sorts of just really cool stuff. Uh, One of the cooler things that we did, uh, it was just before Christmas this this last year, we have put together a bunch of gift boxes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's got like, uh, generally speaking, there's a glass, uh, maybe a sticker, an opener, and then a t-shirt is kind of the setup that we tried to do. So it was all sort of put together so that people who aren't quite as into beer could, you know, hopefully... (laughs) gather a, a gift box that's sort of already done for them and make it easy. So that's kind of a fun thing that we've added somewhat recently. Yeah, that's that's a really cool idea. I was actually, as you were describing it, reminds me of, you know, I, I don't know if you're familiar with, like, Loot Crate um, or anything. I just heard about that recently. Okay. I haven't gone to check them out, though. Yeah, I mean, they do a different thing each month and stuff. It's not like, you know, but it, it it's just, I was just thinking about the same idea, though. It's like, you know, it'd be kind of cool to get, you know, a T-shirt, a keychain or whatever and, you know. Like that kind of thing. It would just be cool for someone to get an opening because I know, like Tony and I, those are the kind of gifts we'd be like, "Oh, this is sweet," you know. <laughs> so right, a little yeah. variety, yeah, kind of a little yeah. package that sort of all goes together. Yeah, it's yep. pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Very cool. Uh, what 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 beer are you into now? Like, what's your thing? I mean, well, uh, <laughs> that's always tough. You know? I know, I know. It's like picking um, my favorite kid or something. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm a. Let's see. I'm always into IPAs. Like I kind of can never go wrong there. Um, but it's getting warm, and I'm getting really excited for to have some saisons. Right. Yeah, it's uh, you know they're kind of the craft beer lovers lawnmower beer. Oh right. <laughs> to me, it's a yeah, it's a nice beer. light yep. crisp. Yep. I saw you actually. You just there was a blog on your site where you talk about that. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wrote that this yep. past week because I was like, oh, it's Saison season. What's going on? It's Saison. <laughs> Excellent. I'm excited. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, it makes sense. You know, you, it's, you've it's you got, uh, you know, uh, talking about the beers and stuff. I mean, it makes sense because what you're selling, it, you know, it's going hand in hand with the beers anyway. So why not show uh, your love of different ones? Or, you know, you never know. It's the, one of the things about the, the small beers and stuff is, you know, like I talk to people, you know, because of the internet, you talk to people all over the place. And, you know, like there's a guy that I talk to who lives in uh, California, but he's from Detroit, which is, you know, about an hour north of us. Okay. And uh, so there's some of the breweries here that he's a huge fan of, and he can occasionally get one of those beers out there, you know. And it's cool because we'll talk about different beers and stuff, you know, that are similar and all this. So it's cool when you read about some, because sometimes you can find them at, at you know, some of these beer stores and or liquor stores, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been having fun doing some of the content creation. I kind of just took that over in like January and February because mm. uh, I was doing a lot of the um, product development in the beginning, okay. um, and now we're we have we have a little bit less of that to do. So so now I'm, I get to do some of the content creation, and yeah, it's okay. fun because you get to um, kind of boil down the beer world and and into the size of an article, I guess is yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little by little. And right. so, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Cause it's definitely one of the things I found as I've gotten into it is, is it, it's just like in comic books or this other stuff about how the community is, is really interesting to, to submerge yourself. And like, we just went to the winter beer festival here 
what was that a couple months ago? Yeah. And it was, you know, it's just amazing. You look around, you just see thousands of people, and we're all just there to try these amazing beers. Yeah, just to have beer. People huddling yeah, around right? fires. It's just such a cool, like, communal thing. You know, you just feel like you're just part of something bigger, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And the beer community, I, I don't know, may, I'm probably biased, but uh, <laughs> but I feel like the beer community has kind of this, its own feel, it's different than than any other community I've been a part of in yeah, that everybody's yeah. just kind of everybody's bro. Yeah. Does that, I don't yeah. know. No, you're right. <laughs> that makes right. sense. But... That makes perfect <laughs> sense. Like, yeah. the, the beer fest we went to, you know, Tony and them are uh, the VIP level uh, people, so they get in like an hour earlier, and I wasn't. So I, I had to go stand with everybody else and wait an hour before the doors open. Those people. Yeah. And, <laughs> those people. and both, and I'm not a person like I, I can talk to people. I'm fine with that, but I'm also one of those that I kind of just normally in crowds. I just kind of want to stay to myself. Yeah. But both times I found myself just everybody. We, there were the, this last one, there's probably 15 people. We're all standing almost in a circle and just cracking jokes at each other. And just, and we had, none of us had ever met like, well, not, you know, a couple of them were together, but it right, was just right. so cool. Like you said, we were all just bros standing there. And I was like, oh, and, you know, I saw a couple of them as we were walking around later. And we're like, oh, what have you had that's good? You know, and just that yeah, you make a lot yeah, of temporary friends. It's a friends. great community yeah. to be a part of. And it has been so, as, as a rule, has been so welcoming to, to us and, like, our ideas and the things that we're bringing. Sure. Uh, so that's been, you know. Great. <laughs> right. Now, yeah. do you guys, uh, do you guys, uh, like ever set up like a tent or anything at any of the beer festivals? Is, yeah, like, absolutely. Saying, we did the, that? we did, I think over 20 festivals last year. Oh, okay. oh wow. Cool. So, um, Hardcore. and we hit up everything from, you know, we were in San Diego and LA, Vegas, uh, a bunch of places in Colorado, um, so a couple in Texas and I think one in, um, Arkansas. Oh, okay. So wow. we we were able to hit up quite a few, and wow. it was it, it's such great fun. It's also fun because you know you well you had mentioned earlier the internet and how that that does make it difficult. It, it makes it difficult and easy <laughs> because you can talk to so many right. more people. Right. But at the same time, you don't get the same thing as somebody walking up to your booth and picking up your trailer hitch bottle opener and going, "Oh my god, this is awesome!" Right. Yeah. You know, it's such great to it's yeah. so great to have that immediate feedback from right. people and to see their reactions. Right. Cause the internet gives you, you know, it's easy to click on a heart or a star or a whatever, <laughs> you know, and it's, yeah. it's not the same as someone, <laughs> Oh, you know, like just, you know, totally geeking out over something that you, you know, yeah. you've uh, made or brought to their attention. It, it's a really cool thing to see. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine so that, so. they're really fun. And, you know, I definitely did my fair share of beer tasting while at them. So well, of course, I mean, that, that also it's makes research. them great. Yeah, yeah. So that's for science. So that's totally okay. <laughs> that's As is tradition. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you get to the uh, Great American Beer Fest there in Denver? Uh, we did. That is actually um, – we went in 2013, which is we, – we launched our website that weekend of 2013. Oh, and we nice. were there. We 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 did not have a booth because it uh it was very 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 expensive. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Yeah, I gotta ask you because I've seen this guy's picture at Great American Beer Fest. And I just gotta know if he goes everywhere. But in the Michigan Beer Fest, there's a guy that dresses up like a superhero. <laughs> He's Hop Man. He wears green spandex and a red cape. He's got. This a big sounds beard. very familiar. I think I and I honestly you, I can't remember if I saw him at the festival or if I've just seen him online somewhere. But I know uh, that I've seen that guy. I've definitely. got several pictures with him. And he's always like, because <laughs> he wants to get pictures of you know girls. But he, he always reluctantly takes a picture with me. <laughs> and then I saw a picture of him in Denver. I was like, holy crap, he goes everywhere. So right. I just didn't know if maybe you've seen him out west. Yeah, I've not seen him at any of the festivals out in San Diego. But I I think that I did at Great American Beer Festival. That really sounds familiar. Uh, guy's a trip. Good I, times. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> just laughing at him, ta- you know, reluctantly taking a picture. Well, that was the first time. He was Fine. Like, probably the, the second time we all posed like he was pointing at something in the sky. That was kind of fun. Right. But. <laughs> well, because I saw a couple people at uh, Fall Beer Fest that were dressed in like, you know, like they were some sort of a beer superhero. And they would pose with anybody. Like there was one guy who was just walking. And then I s- stood there and watched him for I don't know, probably 10 minutes just doing nothing but posing with people. And I'm like, man, there's all that drinking time he's missing. I don't, I don't. Well, I'm telling you, the, the first one I went to and I saw him walking around and I was finally like, I'm getting a picture of this guy. And I ran up to him. I'm like, 
hot man, I need a picture. He's just like, I don't know. normally I just do it for a token or if you're a girl, but all right. He was not real impressed. <laughs> <laughs> a token. It's like like he's a yeah, stripper like I'm or something. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, whatever it was uh, fun <laughs> that's fair though i guess right i mean if he's you know gonna take it time out from his day to pose with you you know you that's true chip I him mean, a token i guess right yeah, yeah. i guess i don't know <laughs> well you can't at all buy i mean that's buying him a beer i mean that's you know at the beer I mean, if, if you look if, at it that way yeah if he's hot man i mean i'm, I'm kind of thinking he probably gets a little on the slide you know <laughs> they probably fill his uh sample cup up all the way yeah maybe <laughs> you might be right yeah 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 that's fair. Yeah, that's that's one of the things. Like my my wife and I, we just we plan vacations around beer festivals now, <laughs> right? Which is or, great. Or beer bars or breweries. I mean, yep. we don't go anywhere without checking out what oh, we yeah. should see and being terribly disappointed by the number of breweries we can't visit in the amount of time we have. <laughs> yes, that was what yeah. we ran into in Grand Rapids because there's so many in such a small area when we were there for beer fest, and then the rest of the weekend it was let's hit Brewery breweries. Hopping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, hit as many. I've never as we been can. out yeah. there, but I know that that scene is huge. I oh, mean, I see it all yeah. over. I mean, it's it's worth the trip. It really is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the beer there is just great. Yeah, yeah. And it's, and a, the, it's a cool city, and too. they're so close to one another too. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, you can go from one to the next. There's a couple of them that are walking distance from each other, and yeah, it's that's just seems like a dangerous city to live in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would agree. <laughs> San Diego's the same way. I we imagine, we yeah. I mean there's I don't know I I just heard a new the new number I think it's over a hundred now. Oh, wow. Holy cow! Breweries in San I'm Diego. hopping on a plane. <laughs> yeah, right. It's it's insane. We try to go to a different one at least once a month, if not once a week, and uh, we have not even made a dent. Oh wow! Did you see? You got like a map up on the wall with like pins yeah. in it or yeah, something, or, pins. or a bottle caps on them or something. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, a hundred different. See, that just shows you that the whole craft beer thing's blowing up across yeah, the. It I is. mean, what what, what was insane. it? The craft beer sales surpassed. Yeah. The uh, macro brews finally, right? Yep. Yeah, I I read that quote or that uh, statistic not too long ago, and I think did it actually surpass in I, I in sales? So. Maybe. In yeah, sales, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. right. You know, yeah. I the only thing I have against that number is I I know they count Yingling as a micro brew in those and mm. i don't know exactly how that works because they are but they aren't you know it's I feel they're not one of the same. big four or well is it three now yeah and i yeah. think i think that's kind of what it is it's kind of like you're an indie comic book as long as you're not part of marvel and dc basically right right Even right, though right image exactly. is quite large now you know you've got other companies that are growing but you're still indie because you're not part of the big two you know so either way yeah, it's still it's pretty impressive. crazy how fast it's growing that's for sure mm-hmm yeah, yeah, that's insane. the part that blew my mind going to those beer fests. You know, you look at those uh, the sheets of all the beers you can try, and I'm like, like the one we just went to, there was how many beers? How many? Uh, it was a, over a thousand. Yeah. Oh my god. And I'm like, you know, yeah. we Huge. we tried what fifty? I think was uh, our fifty to seventy five <laughs> was our number, pretty much. Maybe. <laughs> even, even if you hit seventy five, even if you hit a hundred a day, it's a two day festival. The best you can hit is two hundred of them. Yeah. Right, it's just so amazing. You and that's not even a dent in the whole day. You know, it's like man. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. I just went the the one that we just went to was a uh, Ferk Fest in in Orange County, um, but it's tiny, which is why we love it. Actually, they're all cask beers, and oh, nice. um, okay. and I there was only thirty the first uh, the first year, but this is the second year, and I think they were up to like forty or fifty. I think, but that you can you can, you just, can, do you can that. almost yeah. taste everything. You know what right. I mean? Just about. Wow. And uh, so, yeah, that, was, that one's pretty awesome. Wow. It's also small. There's, I think it caps at 500 people. Oh, so awesome. it's like a small group of hardcore beer geeks, and it was awesome. Well, this was the, it was the 10th anniversary of the Michigan Winter, Winter Beer Fest. That's why it was a huge oh, event. Oh, that's why it was super huge, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, they had a ton of brewers, and yeah, it was I, crazy. And I think I heard on the news that they guessed, they guessed it was around 5,000 people that were there. Yeah, across, it was pretty nutty. across the weekend, you know. Right, so, right, right. But still, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, there were definitely a lot of people. <laughs> now, do, yeah. do you construct the the snack necklaces? 
We do you, not. No, no, we haven't done that. No, but we've been to many beer festivals where there's there's someone that doing that. You know, I selling am a fan. Them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I look like with Mr. The, T with food, the beef stick and the pretzels and yeah. the oh yeah, <laughs> whatever else they've cheese got on them. Sticks and <laughs> yeah. cheese oh, yeah, sticks. Who knows? Funyuns, yeah. whatever you want to do. Right. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say I saw all sorts of things. My favorite was the trail mix one. There was a guy that took one of those. Uh, big containers of trail mix like you buy at like Costco or something and he drilled holes in the side and then put like a, a rope around it so he could wear it around his neck it was that's it was impressive strong. yeah, yeah. that's and awesome we saw i saw <laughs> him again anything that good. yeah i i that's what we as he walked by us we were all like now that's a guy you know uh, did, did you see the woman that had the soft pretzel scarf no <laughs> that was pretty that's pretty good too <laughs> oh, i love it Oh, yeah, I love awesome. I love that that's I love beer great. fest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll I tell could... you, since going, it's like it, like you said, it just introduced you to a whole new. It's like you can drink beers, you can like beers, but it's like this. It, those going to those is just so different. It's, it's just a different, such a, it's a completely different animal. It's like a warm hug, you know. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, the last one wasn't warm, but <laughs> no, it was freezing. Oh, God. Right. Uh, Michigan I, I, in winter. That sounds like a great time. Oh, and it, uh, it, was, it, was it was brutal, brutal. too. Yeah, it, I think on the day, the high was like seven. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty nice out. Uh, yeah, I'm a pansy when though. it comes to weather. Well, that's why you live in San Diego. Right. It's yeah. awesome. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. You never have to really check the weather. It's like, eh, it's, I mean, what, you know, 70 or better and sunny, whatever. Yep. Yeah. Now, <laughs> with every beer fest, though, there's awesome beers. What, what's the beer you've had It's just... Not good. <laughs> so I can name two. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you guys have to go first because I'm going to have to think about this because oh, I know I just had one recently that was quite awful, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I'll be fair. <laughs> I, I don't remember the brewer or the exact beer name, but right. it was hot dog beer. Yeah, that's the first one I would have named too. And it yeah, tastes like hot dog water. Yeah. yeah. yeah it, it was awful. I, I will say, like we said on the show, it's like it 100% delivered on exactly what they said it would taste like, yeah. but it still was just not good. Yeah. <laughs> I would I, never I want more that. than that sip I had of it. And another one I had that was terrible was spear beer, and it was asparagus. Oh, <gasps> seriously? Yeah, I, I saw horrible. it. Horrible. Who I, had I, that idea? I don't know. Some madman. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I love asparagus on the grill. Yeah. A little olive oil, it's awesome. Right. But in a beer, it's right out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's awful. That's yeah. terrible. Oh, I can't think of the other one I was going to say. Some, now. some of those beers that they make of ghost peppers, and I just can't. I mean, I love spicy food, but yeah. when I don't expect it, and I take a mouthful of fire. It's just not for oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, those are awful. And I don't mind when, when they do it well. Like, actually, one of my favorite yeah. beers that I've had at a festival was um, was on cask, and it was it was an IPA with roasted Anaheim chilies, hmm. right. but okay. no burn. Like, right. it was just the flavor of the roasted chili. It was oh, the most okay. amazing beer ever. See, that sounds uh, pretty good. There was yeah. one of the ones we had at... Uh, Shoot, where was it? I think it was at Fall Beer Festival. It's the one you didn't try, Tony, because you had had the other one with the ghost, the ghost chili, and you were like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> and the second one we had actually had really good depth of flavor and stuff. It was pretty hot, but it was, you know, I don't know that I'd want, I wouldn't definitely wouldn't sit and drink them all day, but you know, I could probably get through one and then I'd be good for it. But it was, I can't remember who made it or anything, but it was the same idea. It was just the balance was just better. It yeah. was, you know, the other one they just used too much of the. It was just fire. Chili. Yeah, it was just fire. Yeah. This one, it yeah. was like it crept up your tongue and then set your mouth on fire. But <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Ballast Point, right? Uh, Sculpin is their big, huge, crazy popular beer right now, and they do a habanero version of that. Okay, uh, which is quite spicy. Yeah. But you can drink it. Like, you can drink yeah. the whole thing, you know, assuming you like spicy a little bit. But, yeah, I've definitely had one, and I can't remember who the brewer was either, where I took, like, l- literally took a sip, and my mouth was on fire for, yeah. you know, a half hour, and that was that was good. I was good. Yeah, <laughs> no it, more thank you. The worst part is just nukes everything yeah. that you're going to drink Right, how are you supposed to too? taste anything after that? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's like horrible. your tongue peels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's a, You know, before we went to Beer Fest, actually, I was like, you know, one of the problems I had at the first Beer Fest I went to was after a while, everything kind of takes on the flavor of what you had before because it's still in your mouth, basically. And I'm like, I need to find some sort of a palate cleanser. And, you know, so I looked and, you know, the best thing that everyone seems to recommend, you know, pretzels and that kind of thing. Because they basically, they're generally a rougher consistency, so they'll, they essentially scrape your tongue. You <laughs> right. know? Like so you were bone. right. Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. <a milk> <laughs> bone. 
<laughs> but yeah, that's so I was like, well, there's another use for those pretzels everyone has around their neck, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I I find that just water, not only yeah. does it keep you from hurting later, but that <laughs> it really does help cleanse the palate as well. Keeps you from karate kicking signs later on, Tony. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> 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 yeah that's because that, that was definitely a problem you know after a while you just you just keep tasting and it was worse at the winter one because all the, a lot of the beers are heavier you yeah know? all those stouts yeah and... i would imagine in yeah. summer it's probably not as bad because most of the beers are lighter beers so they don't you know kind of stay around as long but so what i'm trying yeah, to do right was, now uh, is empty the stouts out of my fridge yeah right I, just, <laughs> I just saw an article about that. Somebody was talking about when is stout season and it was a, you know, a bar graph basically of stout sales throughout the year. And it, they, it like sharply increases in November, yeah. kind of tapers a little bit and then sharply goes down in March. It's I like imagine so, people yeah. are done. Yep, yep. It's like, all right, it's just, it gets too heavy at yeah. some, you know, at some yeah. point. Yep. I mean, it's still kind of, it's not pleasant here, but yeah. I mean, it's been in the forties, which is like a heat wave. <laughs> right. You know, so it's I'm not though. The normal, temper- <laughs> the normal temperature here for this time of year should be in the fifties. I know. And we're barely hitting it. <laughs> oh, I know. oh, man. <laughs> and rainy. Yeah. Let's not forget the rain. Yeah. Yeah. That's which is better pleasant. than snow. So we can't grape too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, hmm. Is there, is there anything that you guys, um, uh, is there anything you've had on your website in the past that you thought was going to be big that just didn't fly? Yeah, actually, we uh, we started one of our big things that we uh, when we kicked off the website was uh, some beer art, um, so, and we still have one piece that that stays on the website because it, it sells um, okay, mm-hmm. um, and it's a uh, it's what is it a tops on the top uh, wheat and then a water and it's so it's just those images like really cool shots of oh, okay. you know a wheat field hop vines and this cool drop of water in a thing okay. and so again I, we were going for repl- not replacing but sort of duplicating what wine lovers have for their sure. for their homes and and we had a bunch of different people we we were featuring artists in the beginning uh, who painted stuff that was about beer or were photographers of beer and that kind of thing okay. um and we ha- we really felt we had had a good little collection, but it did not pan out. And so I don't know if we just need to learn how to sell art online, <laughs> or if, yeah, um, if enough, maybe yeah. we were ahead of the curve a little. And it, you know, down the road that will be something that could be a saleable thing. Oh, okay, hmm. I could see that because I mean, yeah. you know, the way craft beers straight blown up yeah. son right <laughs> i mean everyone right. i talk to now just love it, except for a very select few friends are like yeah ah, we just haven't converted them spending yet. all that money that's on that right beer. okay what are you doing you know what give i me mean that budweiser i will i will give people like i've said before when people uh talk about like uh what brewery, was it founders we were at where yeah. the bartender was like didn't want to give us their equivalent of like bud light basically because we were trying everything that they had and he was like you know, he's like, I don't even want to give you this. It's like our version of Bud Light, and you guys aren't going to like it. And you know, and he I'm like, right. and I'm like, you know what? The, those beers have their place, and that place is, you know, college drinking. So, you know, <laughs> that's right. Because, like you said, you skipped right over all the, you know, all that, and I was like, man, you know, I can't imagine using microbrews for all the games of quarters that I played or beer pong or whatever. Because we would have all been, there, we just, it just financially would not have happened. <laughs> just in ruins. Just, no, <laughs> yeah. Our student yeah. loans are only going to pay for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, that kind of drinking was, uh, was hard liquor in my, oh, yeah, for me, yeah. you know, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. That get her done drinking. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. It's like, you know, you're, you know, you're, from the moment you start, it's like, I'm drinking to get drunk. Whereas I think, <laughs> yeah. like, at the point I'm at now, if I end up at drunk, that's fine. But I'm not necessarily starting with the intent of, you know. That, that's a, Yeah, because you're like, I want to taste this. Yeah. Right, right, right. I want to enjoy what I'm drinking, right. not just slam it back. And, right. Well, because know. for me, you know, the the best way for me to find the happy medium is, you know, I enjoy the Kentucky bourbon barrel ale. So I'll just drink a lot of that, you know. So Somebody brought one of those out to out west to to us because i've never seen it i don't think we can get it out here i don't think so either. Um, yeah but that is an amazing beer yeah, you are very, not wrong <laughs> yeah yeah you know and it's it, it's even better if you can get it you know a pull of it rather than in a, a bottle oh it's so much better that way but um 
Yeah, I did that one night when we were at a, a local uh, bar. They had it on tap, and I was like, ooh. So <laughs> I decided to drink a lot of those. <laughs> and, Multiple snifters later. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not horribly strong. It's, what is it, like an 8-9 eight, eight, or something like that? It's enough. But it's enough. Just strong enough. Yeah. That's it gets right. the job done. That's why I said, you know, when I'm, when I'm looking for the end result of drunk, I can. that's my happy medium beer. Right. Because it still has taste to it. So. Hmm. So I, obviously you and your husband just both enjoy beer then. Yes. Which is awesome. Yep. Yeah. Right. There's a That's fair a, amount of beer drinking that goes on in our house. <laughs> now, now, like like my wife and I, we both drink beer. We, we both love craft beer, but it took me a while to turn her on to beer. Yeah. Because she was yeah. very much a liquor, like cocktails and all that. Right. Mm-hmm. Because she was just like, no, nah, I'm not drinking that piss. No, right. I'm not drinking. I'm just like, try. you got to try, at least try this. And then she got hooked on Guinness. And oh, so like that, I was going to ask, what was, the, what was the gateway? Yeah, it was yep. Guinness, and yep. then it was like, okay, well, let me try some of these other darker beers, and yep. and now she just enjoys it all like I do. Does she uh, Does she like coffee? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is sort of a science, you know, I'm taking a poll, just because I, I've found that, that when people, uh, particularly women, a lot of times will say that they don't like beer or whatever, and, um, and so if they like coffee, I... I will often steer them in the, you know, the darker beer direction. Yep. Like uh, yep. even if they're big beers, you know, you guys, do you get any ballast point out there? Uh, the, it's, that name sounds familiar. It does, but I okay. don't remember. Yeah. Probably. Um, Cause like their victory at sea or um, there's a, you know, black Xantis or abyss from Deschutes, all those big there. I mean, oh, they're Deschutes, huge, big beards, yeah. but they're very much co- roasty coffee, chocolatey. Yeah. You know flavors that a lot of that a lot of times will go. Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, beer can taste like that. Like that's really? awesome. See, and <laughs> it's that exact reason why I actually had a problem with stouts for a while because I absolutely I have I have an issue with like wine, coffee, tea. All there's something about like the tannins or whatever in tannins, them. Yeah. That bother like I cannot handle them. Like I don't yeah. like them. I don't at all. But I you, you can ask Tony. I've drank my fair share of stouts over the last year. Because yeah. as I've been, you know, he's been like, you need to try this. You need to. Yeah, and I'm like, like Damn fine, it, Brian, put fine. this in your face. And then I, yeah, <laughs> so, you know, it's it's just taking me a little time. I still can't drink coffee and wine and stuff, but, you know, I'm, I'm okay That's with okay. stuff. You don't now. need those. No, you got exactly. The beer. Yeah. That's the important yeah, part. Yeah, I agree. Oh, whoa, whoa. Let's not disparage yeah, coffee. Man, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, though. I actually, a couple of days ago, was having a conversation with a woman that was telling me uh, that she didn't like beer. And I went through the same thing you were saying, though, and that I was like, do you like coffee? And she's like, oh, I love coffee. I'm like, then you need to try something in this family because right. there's a good chance you'll find one. I'm like, go find a good liquor store where they have a good knowledge of the beers and see if somebody there can help you. And yeah. she's already found a coffee stout that she loves. It's a chocolate. Yeah, I exactly. forgot what brand, but it's a chocolate coffee, coffee stout. Coffee or chocolate stout. Yep. Amazing winner every time with yep. a coffee lover. Yep, I was like, there yeah. you go. I was like, those are the ones I still have to steer clear of a little bit because some of them are like, I'll try them. Some of them I'm like, eh, on, but some of them I've, I there were a couple at this beer fest that were really good, that were chocolate or coffee stouts. All so. I can say, have Brian, you... decadent eagle. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. <laughs> you can only get it. You can only get it at the Grand Rapids Tap House, the Grand Rapids Brewing Tap House, and it's. You know, a stout that they age in vanilla barrels and then bourbon barrels. Oh, and it's so it's good. probably the best beer I've had in a well, long, long time. I'm a sucker for anything aged in bourbon barrels. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's yeah. pretty much whenever I'm looking at the uh, menu thing for the beer fest, that's the first thing I'm looking for at to the place. See, that seems to be all the rage lately around here. I don't know yeah. if it's across the country, but at least in Michigan, it's bourbon barrel aged this, that, and everything. That's true. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of that going on. Um, have you guys had any of the, this is kind of a weird, trendy thing that I've had a few now. Um, they're blonde stouts, blonde, blonde coffee stouts. No. No, I can't say yeah. I have. Hmm. It's really weird. That is- like they taste just like a coffee stout or, or a stout of some sort, but 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 it's yellow. <laughs> And it just it tricks your brain, and it. Right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Wow, I prefer really... it to be dark. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see through it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's really weird. Yeah. Yeah. The stone put stuff. out the, a master master of disguise is what it was called. It was uh, one of their yeah, good title um, for it. Yeah. yeah I, think, I can't yeah. remember if it was a collab or 
Anyways, but yeah, it was one of their like limited release things, and it was very odd. I couldn't get past it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a little odd to me too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. I need my stout to have that thick, creamy head, and I can't. I don't want light to go through it. I want it to look like a black hole. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't know why I'm holding an imaginary I didn't know, pint glass. I, I wasn't aware that black holes had thick, creamy heads, Tony. They do. <laughs> okay. I, I've don't seen you know some, science? I have seen some science, and I have yet to see a thick, creamy head on a black hole. I've watched but, Cosmos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you guys have a, like a bar? Of, well, not that I want to give away your location or anything, but do you guys have your own little bar you go to and you just love? Like it's got everything on tap you need. And uh, well, we just uh, we just moved out here to San Diego six months ago or so, but we do. We have this little neighborhood joint. Um, oh, they're called the Steins, and uh, I don't know. They pro- I think they have like twenty five taps. That's and they have strong. amazing food. That's pretty great. 25 I, taps is really strong. I can't think of a bar that we generally go to that has 25 taps. Like here. here. Yeah, here. Yeah. Exactly. It's awesome. And it's tiny. And they, they have tap takeovers like every couple weeks to where somebody will come down and, you know, giving out T-shirts and whatever. And so, yeah, it's uh, it's very close to my heart. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds great. Yeah, it does. I know. <laughs> like like I said, as soon as you said 25 taps, and I'm like, man, if they did here, like 20 of them would be like Budweiser or Bud Light. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. the difference of being in San Diego. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you basically can't go to a restaurant that has a liquor or a beer license that doesn't have at least a few, like, great beers on tap. It's just, it's that far into the culture here. Nice, yeah. Right, which it's, is pretty awesome. It's but very slowly very getting that way here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, I'm willing to pay the price though. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes yeah. every outing a beer outing, you know. Right, which uh, has its ups and downs. <laughs> right. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> See, we'll, we'll very much like you know, even if, even if a group of friends, we'll all sit around, and we'll look at the tap list. Well, everybody will get something different, and then it's right. like family style. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, let me have a sip of that. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, it's funny because you know I, I am the tiniest bit of a germaphobe, and you know it took me a little bit to get used to the whole sharing drinks with people because that's not something I'm a big fan of. But I got over it pretty quick, especially you know, like I said, at the beer fest and stuff, because you want to try everything. But if right. I if I'm doing it on my dime and I'm going to try to try fifty beers. I'm going to just lay on the ground and cry by the end of the day because of the cost. So, yeah. I'm going to find you collapse in a snowbank somewhere. Yeah, or that. Yeah, right. Yeah, because I'll be taking more, more yeah. of them. Yeah. Like, well, I, I'm going to drink all of this. Uh, <laughs> bad yeah, career move. it is kind of an odd thing in the community, the sharing. And yeah. everybody does it. Yeah. Like, uh, we went to even do it beer. with each other yeah yeah well we went to beer bloggers conference this past year was hosted out here in san diego and so it's just i mean they're all people who blog about beer and so it's just this huge group of hardcore beer geeks and there were uh there were obviously a bunch of beer drinking events throughout the weekend but then there was also a night where everybody there's a big bottle share and so everybody just brings all this Oh, okay. whatever their greatest beer is from their part of the country. Oh, that's and really cool. Everybody's just trying everybody's beer. That's and pretty it's, cool. Oh, it's, the... Yeah, it's awesome, but it is uh, – it takes a little getting used yeah, to. Yeah, I imagine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool, though, because like I was saying earlier, you know, like I said, you know, I got a buddy that lives in – or, uh, you know, a guy I talked to online that, that lives out in California, and he's always, oh, I miss this beer, and, you know, so, yeah, and, uh, and you know, but he's always like, oh, I found this beer and this beer, and it's like, you know, I don't doubt it because there's so many great – I mean, hell, like you said, you know, Grand Rapids is just a few hours from here, so we we're lucky enough we can get a lot of that beer down here, right? right yeah, but yeah. I but I know yeah, I don't think we get anything from out there. But I'm going to be back in Michigan this summer, so I'm looking forward to ah, kind of stocking nice. up and trying out a bunch of stuff. That's actually he uh, this guy. He was just back in you know not too long ago and grabbed various bottles of things to take back with him because he yeah. you know. Gonna he's, bring an extra suitcase just for yeah, beer. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Empty on the way there, yep. beer on the way back. That's right. <laughs> There's no shame in this. I don't doubt it. Yeah, I mean, I know people that do it with hard liquor too, because you know sometimes you can't get certain whiskeys in certain areas of the country, and you know you're not allowed to ship them in most, you know, a lot of states and stuff. So you can't, you know, you just can't get them unless someone brings them to you. Or whatever. right, absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the one thing I found with this whole craft beer phenomenon that I've become part of. 
is I've got so much space devoted to growlers now. <laughs> Because everywhere I go, I'm like, oh, I don't have a growler from this place, so I have to buy a growler. <laughs> right. Can't can't be happy with a sticker or a keychain. He's got to have a growler. I got to have a growler. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> or a bottle cap or something. You Most know. people just have a have their beer fridge covered in stickers. Yeah. This oh, guy's got, got a got yeah. shelves worth of growlers. Yeah. Well, huh? my, my wife bought me this cool like rail you can hang on your wall and you can clip growlers into yeah. it. Oh, that's awesome. So that's I mean, cool. once yeah. I because I'm, I'm working on putting together a little podcast studio, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna. Have them at least like, on display. You know, I, nice. I saw when I was looking right. at, at your site earlier that you guys have a uh, an adjustable growler carrier, and I was like, yeah. you know, that seems like a really great idea. Yeah, that's something we just designed uh, just last year, and because um, there kind of wasn't anything like that on the market, and we had a, a growler carrier originally that just carried the you know the glass. Uh, half gallon growlers. It carried two of them, yeah. um, and it was doing pretty well. But I was like, you know, I think. Now, especially now, more and more growlers are coming out where they have all different sizes. And yeah. in fact, we don't even sell um, any of the glass half gallon ones, but we do sell an insulated cool, um, an insulated uh, growler. Mm-hmm. Also holds a half gallon, and it's pretty sweet. But it wouldn't yeah. have fit in our in our carrier, so I was like, "Well, we've got to fix this." Well, so yeah, yeah this right. is totally adjustable, <laughs> and it can carry any two size growlers. Um, it works pretty well. Yeah, it, I, that's what when I saw it because I was thinking about you know around here we've had. Um... Uh, one of the places around here has a, a much different shaped growler than the other ones, which are pretty much those standard, like you said, half gallon. Like the ones. jug. Yeah, the jug. Yeah, ones. yeah, yeah. But there was another one that's got the uh, what do you call it? The like seal top. You got know, the swing top. Oh yeah, yeah. the swing top. Yeah, and yeah, then the they handle. do have some really cool yeah. shaped ones that are almost like a vase, right? Yeah. They're like skinny at the top, and then they get really big at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, I've seen some of those too. Yep. And then we yeah, saw what so. was that one we saw? It was like a, a giant flask from one of yeah. the breweries. Yeah, one was a giant flask. <laughs> no the, way. Yeah. <laughs> the, the one I saw it, I really want. I haven't picked it up yet. Is it looks like a miniature keg? Oh, it's yeah. awesome. Right. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a growler. Mm-hmm. It's just a growler, but it looks like a little tiny keg. Yep. It's so That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I want one so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know, like, when we first started getting growlers, I didn't know that they had any different designs. And the one day he's like, yeah, go online and look, you know. And I'm looking, I was like, oh, my God, you know, there's just so many different designed ones. Or wasn't there a guy who did, like, wooden ones that you um, showed me one time or something? There was a guy that did ceramic ones. Ceramic ones, yeah, that's customized. what it was, not wooden. I don't know what the hell. He made, like, he made, like, Bullet Bill from Super Mario into a growler. Yeah. And he, did, oh, he did all kinds of crazy nuts. stuff. Yeah. But they're not cheap. Well, they yeah, I would, I would believe me. Yeah, I was like, if he's hand-making these, they, you well, would yeah, think Yeah, I would be. expect them to be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's been my only downside is at least, you know, my wife enjoys it too. So I can't be like, oh, sorry, honey, I'll put them yeah. in the, put them in the closet for my bottle caps. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, and like you said, it's allowed you to, you know, you guys to plan vacations around this too. It's not like, you know, like being with somebody who's a baseball fan and you can't stand sports or something, you know, and you're just like, right. Ugh, you know. Well, that's, you know, later in the summer, we're taking, we're taking the kids to Chicago and we're going to just drive around Lake Michigan because yeah. why not? And we're already planning, like, oh, we're going to go up in the Upper Peninsula, and there's breweries we're going to hit there, and we'll probably swing through Grand Rapids on the way back, because why not? <laughs> yeah, that's just how we act. I can't, I don't know, I can't help yeah. it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Right. Yep, yep. It's good stuff. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I, I guess what's what's next for Craft Beer Hound? What's next? Well, yeah. in the short term, we've got Father's Day coming up. So that's uh, generally a huge time for us. Everybody's got dads and dads who love beer. So we've got tons of gifts and uh, some packages coming out for home brewers and um, a couple new uh, beer signs, that w- which we have one now, um, kind of just like a sign for your garage or your man cave or whatever. And we're going to design a couple more of those in time for Father's Day. And so that's fun. And who knows? You know, we might uh, we might do that brew pub someday. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's For now, cool we're sticking idea. to the gifts and gadgets. Right, yeah, right. It's, it's fair though, because you know it's it's such a, a it's such a cool uh, you know small thing to be into. You know, and like I said, you know, I'm looking through it, and you know, it's one of the things I did at every one of the the uh, breweries we went into is I always look at like the shirts and the hats and all that stuff, and most of them are just most of them are just kind of generic. You know, yeah. it's, it's just. 
And honestly, if I'm going to buy a generic T-shirt, I'll buy a Growler with their logo instead because, first of all, it's Damn cheaper. Straight. Second of all, I'm going to probably <laughs> fill it with delicious beer. So <laughs> That's right. <laughs> for, for around the same money. So it's like, you know, but that's why one of the things I liked about you guys is just celebrating liking beer because it is becoming or has become, you know, a very acceptable thing. I mean, we've just sat here and talked for almost an hour about beer and beer related things. And I don't think most people listening, I'm going to take a weird leap here. That they're not going to go, Oh, this is three alcoholics sitting there talking about beer. You know, it's like, we're right, sitting here yeah, talking yeah. about it and, you know, not just dude, I got drunk. So drunk that one time, you know, well, it is. It's becoming more acceptable to be like, you know, Actually, well, I mean, we take our kids with us to breweries right, like, right. whenever we go. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, they get to color and hang out and we get to try a beer and then, you yep. know, and for the most part, nobody gives us too much of a hard time about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because well, I like... actually almost think that wine and beer in some ways have kind of switched a little bit because now you think about people who drink wine, like on the Internet, especially anyone who's talking about drinking wine usually is getting white girl wasted on it. And it's, you know, <laughs> and you don't hear that as much from the beer drinkers. It's not as much about, like, I'm drinking to get drunk. With the wine, it's like, I've got a bottle of wine I'm finishing tonight, you know, even though we finish growlers all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's also the downside. Well, yeah. it's open. I might as well keep going. Well, I, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Although, although have you seen, uh, they have the little, like, CO2 charge taps for growlers now? Yeah, I saw Those them at a awesome. festival last year, and I have I would be so interested to try, to try them out. In fact, I should contact them and see what they're up to because they were just 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 starting ah. when I saw them. And uh, yeah, it'd be kind of cool ah. to see how how that works and like. Yeah. I mean, well, if it keeps it fresh, I wouldn't feel obligated to drink my whole growler. You still would, right? though. Yeah, yeah. It would be nice, especially when you get some of the beers like uh, the one around here. God, what's the one that that Don loves? I can't think of the name of it. Oh, uh, the. Uh, um, Breakfast out. Yeah. No, 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 no. Blitzen. Oh, uh, Blitzen. It's a Christmas beer. Uh, you know, a Christmas. Uh, what? I can't remember. Something crazy big. Uh, it it mm-hmm. sells out really fast is the problem. So when you uh, buy it, you gotcha. know, and if you buy growlers, you, you know, you have to drink them quick. Whereas this way, you know, it might, allow you to savor yeah. the beer a little bit more rather right, than right. have to, you know, open it. And like you said, open it and just consume it out of the growler. So. Right. <laughs> I, just, I yeah, I was drinking right out of the jug. Right, yeah, we don't have this time. A, no. <laughs> it doesn't need to breathe. Yeah. It's just more dishes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the best we've done on the growler front is our uh, is that insulated um, growler, which is that's pretty really freaking cool. rock star because if you're going to go to your friend's house or have a barbecue or whatever, it it literally will stay cold for like over 12 hours outside of the fridge. Oh, that's uh, pretty good. I, I so was eyeing that earlier. Pretty actually. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to add it to my grower shelf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny though, Tony. People will see that for you and probably think that it's for coffee. Well, yeah, because you're probably right. You consume it in. I do drink a lot, lot of coffee. Quantities. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's fine. at some point in my clock, it just shifts from coffee to beer. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. About ten a.m. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, did say, what did you say, Brian? I said about 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Give away oh, my man. secrets. <laughs> Not really a secret, but all right. Well, all right, fair yeah. enough. Well, I guess, uh, do you want to plug anything else before uh, we call it an hour? Or? Well, sure. You know, so it's uh, craftbeerhound.com. We're on Instagram, Untapped, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all those things. And, um, oh, you can sign up for a newsletter, which is pretty sweet. We send it out every every other week. It's got, you know, a little bit of information about our products, but it's got trending beer news, beer recipes, and uh, and a bunch of beer porn. Ooh, <laughs> and if you're on Instagram, nice. here's our fun new thing we're doing, is uh, if, you, if you tag us or hashtag Craft Beer Hound on Instagram, um, we are pulling together the best beer porn that we can find on Instagram each week and and putting a post out on Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a fun thing. And if nothing well, else, it's it's always nice to look at some lust-inspiring uh, beer, right? It is, well, too. expect some on Thursday because we're going to the Tap House. So. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Hashtag craft beer hound. <laughs> Perfect. I always end up snapping pictures of my beer. I yeah. don't know why. Well, I do yeah. for untapped, but, you know. Yeah. Got to get those badges. I'm not a good untapped person. Like, I... Do sometimes if it's seriously like an, so awesome, I will definitely untap it. But 
I just like to. I have yeah. a hard time remembering and taking the time to do it. I, I got to get better at that. I just do it for oh. the badges. So I'm, yeah. like, I'm yeah. like an addict. I can't yeah. help it. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's about yeah. the way I am. Yep. I mean, we'll even of our checklist from Beer Fest, we'll check mark what we drank, and then we'll write our little star rating next to it, and then the next day we check them all. Yeah. <laughs> Just checking, 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 checking. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Untapped's like, whoa, there, buddy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Slow down. Yeah. The first time you get that badge for, uh, I forgot what it is for, like a certain amount within a certain amount of hours and stuff, yeah, to yeah, where yeah. it's like, slow down. Like. <laughs> trust me. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm a junkie on that damn app. You Can't are, help it. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, you're way worse about it than I am. There's a lot of times I forget, and you're like, did you check that in? I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to toast you? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bullying is what it is. I don't, yeah. yeah. All right, well, yeah, thanks for joining us, Gina. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks yeah, for thank having you, me Gina. on. It was good, good right. times. I always like to talk about beer and, you know, plug the craft beer hound. Right. We're, oh, yeah. we're trying to do super cool things for beer lovers. So. Right. I mean, and we, we always we encourage you guys found us. We do call all those studios Shameless Plug Studios, yeah. so. Awesome. It's yeah. perfect. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks again, and uh, I guess that's a, that's a wrap, Brian, eh? Yeah, sounds like it to me. So, uh, Sweet. Yeah. So, again, thank you, Gina. <laughs> I'll get your name right this time since I just fell right on my face at the beginning of the thing. So. <laughs> Definitely. Great talking to you guys. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, well, hopefully you guys in, uh, enjoyed the uh, interview with uh, Gina there. We had a good time, I know. Yeah, so. go buy some shit from her website. Yeah, craftbeerhound.com. And, Seriously, and, there's all sorts of really cool stuff on there. Don't like, don't just go and look at one thing. Like, have a look at the whole, at all the stuff. And they have a blog on there, and like Gina mentioned, there's a newsletter that they have. They're doing all sorts of good stuffs over there. I wish they were closer so that yeah, they'd know, be at cause... Beer Fest that we're at so we could go, you know. Hey, I interviewed you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me buy things from you. <laughs> you All, the things. All the things. All the things. Oh, yeah. you know what we should have asked her? If uh, there was like coupon code salty language like <laughs> I always joked about. Yes. <laughs> we have yet to get that done. Someday. Yeah. Soon. Soon. Um, <laughs> It'll be on the salty also language found out store. Right after we stopped the show and we chatted with her, you know, thanking her for being on, that her husband does a podcast that reviews craft beer. It's called Beer Coasters. And there's a space in there because I tried doing it all one word and that didn't that didn't fly. Oh, okay. So, yeah, beer space coasters. Okay. So there you go. So there's go another uh, another yeah. podcast to shove into your ear holes. Boom. Yeah. Um, and again, like she said, you can follow them pretty much on anything. You can follow whatever it's. Uh, if you ch- look up Craft Beer Hound, you'll probably find them. Or she said on Twitter, it's at Craft Beer underscore Hound. If you right. want to follow them there, but you know they probably have those links, some of those links and whatnot up on the website. I would imagine. As yeah, well. they're they're at the top of the site. There is all their social, you know, right. links. Fair enough. All right. Well, with the said icon for that social media. Yep. Yep. So yeah, uh, you know, and as always, you know, we will accept gifts if you'd like to buy from them and send them to us. I'm just <laughs> that, gr- that growler. I'm just saying, there's there's some hats and T-shirts I would really like off the off the site, you know. So just message me if you you know need my size and uh, what I'd like. Uh, <laughs> Father's <laughs> Day's coming up. I mean, who's your dad? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I do have one of their stickers because they just had a thing that was like, hey, just send us an email with your address and we'll send you a sticker. So nice. Once once I have my beer fridge, I'll have one of their stickers proudly displayed. That's on That's a it. good call, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, got anything else? Uh no, I'm good. Other, other than you know, once again, we'll say thanks to Gina and Crap Beer Hound for you know doing what they do and for you know swinging by for a little bit and you know yeah doing what for they sure do. yeah so i guess at this point all we can say is uh take it a little way boy i can't even say it i'm so excited about it <laughs> <laughs> i'm excited too Brian. right I just wet my pants <laughs> oh damn it uh well all right take it away annalise enthusiast this <laughs> Susan, open the door. Oh my god, what happens now? He's gonna break down the door and she's gonna hide. I'm breaking down the door. Don't you hide. Oh god, what now? He's gonna find her hiding in the bathroom. I know you're in the bathroom. Ah! I just wanna talk, honey. He's lying. He has a knife behind his back. Oh yeah? Why do you have a knife behind your back? How did you know? That loud mouth in the audio said so. <laughs> well, it's not what you think. 
He's gonna tell her it's to cut the cable because she wants to be on the Tangent Down Live show. November 15, 6 p.m. It's gonna be awesome. You wanna have your own free podcast on the network. Now they'll make up and do the nasty. Oh, honey, let's make up and do the nasty. Wow, what happens now? Now we're getting out of the theater and everybody else will beat the shit out of us in the parking lot. TangentDownNetwork.com This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network.